So you may already be using Keynote to create presentations. When you have a presentation usually you go through it in a linear fashion. Starting with the first slide and continuing all the way through. But you can also make presentations where you can jump around using links. You may use links already to jump to web pages but you can actually use links to jump to other slides. This way you can make a presentation where you can move around freely in the presentation using links or it could be a presentation that somebody else actually controls. You're not presenting it. You're actually just putting it on a computer like a kiosk or something and somebody could actually then control it themselves. So for instance here's a simple presentation with five slides. There's an intro slide and then here is a slide that has three words each linking to one of these three different slides here. So we can insert a link by selecting a word or set of words. Go to Format and say Add Link. And you could add a slide link, web page link, or email link. We'll do a slide link. And you can see there's even a keyboard shortcut for this, Command K. And we can now have it go to the next slide, previous slide, etc., etc., or a specific slide. So I can have it go specifically to slide 3. And then I could do the same thing here. I'll use Command K and quickly change this to slide 4. And I'll do the same here, slide 5. Now it will jump to one of these. So if I actually hit play and I click on this one it jumps to the correct slide. Now you probably want to have it be able to go back to that menu as well. So on this slide here let's add a shape. Let's add a simple arrow. I'm going to reverse the arrow there. Put it at the bottom right or maybe at the top left. Let's make it smaller and you could add a link to this as well. So you can see you can still do add link. Command K right there. Um, and I'll have it go in this case to slide 2. And I can actually copy this and paste it here and here on each of these slides. Now when I run this I can jump to a slide and jump back. And another slide and back. So that's really handy. And there's some ways to be able to turn this into kind of an interactive app rather than having it be uh, something you have to present. If you go to the document settings you could set this slide for the presentation slide to links only. So instead of normal with the arrow keys and, and tapping or clicking anywhere on the screen we'll advance to the next one. Links only means only the links work. Now if we're going to do that we need to have a link in here so there's no way to advance to the next slide. So we could add for instance a shape here. Uh, I'll just do an arrow or you could be, do a piece of text saying you know, begin and I'll make this a thing that goes to slide 2 or I could say the next slide. So now if I hit play I can't use the arrow keys to move around at all or click outside anywhere. Clicking here doesn't do anything. Click on this to go to the next slide. I can go here. I can go back. Here and back. And you could even set this thing here. Restart show if idle for and set it to a certain amount of time. So say you have a computer in a lobby, uh, a waiting room, or uh, you know anywhere, you could have it that if nobody touches it for you know say three minutes, it automatically jumps back to the intro slide, for instance. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do in Keynote besides just a linear presentation. You could even go all out and make this into a quiz, right, where there's a question and there's three answers. And two of them go to a screen that says, no, nope, sorry, guess again, with a back arrow that goes back. The third one goes to correct and maybe an explanation. And then maybe a button that takes you to question number two. So you all sorts of cool, interesting things you can do with just a simple link to another slide.